Hey, hang on. There's something else in the box. Oh, oh my. <laughs> They're not gonna get away with it. Show you, this is the modern version of the lamp ray. So I have him setting up in the, the gun tour. He's the captain of the ship. Pretty cool that guy is. Now I have to admit that this is one of the hardest top 10 lists that we've ever had to put together because there are simply so many great Cobra action figures to choose from. Battle Action Force comic story that turned Baron Ironblood into Cobra Commander. World enemy number one! <laughs> It's a childhood Cobra Commander of mine, 1991. Uh, as you can see, the gold paint is all but gone. He's got this mutant uh, <laughs> flesh tone <laughs> head. <laughs> but uh, it's a fresh take on the Cobra Commander uniform. What do you think, Rob? It's a very unique take. Now, of course, we have a slightly opening mouth to put the missile into. And the launching button is actually this um, back fin. This isn't the dorsal fin. I guess this is the dorsal fin, but this is some type of fin on a on a shark, I guess. So this is what you push down and launch your missile or torpedo in this case. Quite nice. If this set were brand new, the missile should hold in any position, but this is cardboard, it does tend to wear, so my missile will not stay up. Other than his arms, the Televiper is molded completely out of blue plastic with all the purple and black and silver painted on. Uh, as well as his face. That painted flesh tone is frequently a problem on these guys because you get paint wear on the nose. From G.I. Joe? Yeah. Excellent! Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, there are like five squadrons of these things just sitting around and the Joes aren't even using them, so I can get you as many as you want. They'll never notice. Cobra is an exceptionally awesome villain that terrorized children's living rooms, televisions, and comic books for over a decade and struck fear in the hearts of men, women, and children worldwide. I have one of the most dangerous animals of all times at my disposal. She might not look like much, but we've been training hard, and in a fight, she <laughs> could... Ah! <sighs> dangerous. Call me.
For kids at the time, these exclusives may have seemed redundant. They rarely gave kids anything new. It was mostly just old toys with new colors. And here he is out of the box. He is looking really cool. I've wanted this figure for quite some time and I got him a little while ago and I was holding on to him to review for a special occasion and I thought this would be a great time. Thanks a lot for being with me, Mark. You're welcome, thank you. Yes, thanks. Uh, I'll, I'll, yes, yes. Um, obviously I've shown uh, throughout the video some of your work and why I think it's you know awesome for collectors to have this opportunity to you know talk with someone that was associated with the line of something that we hold near and dear such as the GI Joe line but um, I mean GI Joe is not only the thing that you draw I mean you have multiple passions Taking America's youth by storm, this rock and roll group emerged from nowhere to entertain thousands of fans, both live and over the airwaves. Original members Buzzer, Torch, Ripper, and Zartan were on t-shirts, posters, and the lips of teenagers everywhere. All right, to the moment you guys have all been waiting for, what does Cobra Commander look like under that hood? You fools! Don't just stand there! Fight back! Fight back! Commander Bombard, be advised. Cobra troops are mobilizing. They're coming at us with his tanks and T-90s. All right, let's get out of here. Sir! Oh, crap. Where the hell's that Abrams? Cobra being based in Cobra Island, they're going to have to get through the water to go anywhere. And the Cobra eels facilitate safe passage. Basically, if you're G.I. Joe, you have a reason to be scared to go into the water because of these baddies. Captain Yuri became Colonel Breckow. Big Bear became Horror Show. Mouse became Storm Mavic. Striker became Shrage. And Sachi became Dana. The tank will climb better in reverse. There he goes, made it. I collected my points and sent away for the hiss. It took forever to come. I checked every day in the mailbox. It wasn't until I totally forgot that the package finally came. It's now about an hour after I've put this milliput on. You can see it's hardened enough that I can actually just start to do a little bit of shaping and put some of these little lines on the front of it. So all I've done is I've taken my knife here and gently marked a few lines so that when this gets painted, you'll see the same sort of ridging that the original one had. Yeah, it's uh, really, a, the question is, is often said to me, Oh, I, you guys! You guys don't curse as much as you used to. No, we we do. She just does it all, and, and it she's out. she's kind enough to string it all together when it happens. <laughs> the 
this beach is so iconic from the Cobra Civil War. You know, over there, let's begin. That's where the stolen Mamba and Slipstream came onto Cobra Island. And over there, that's where Destro started to approach as it, in his ascent to Cobra Island. It's time to take a closer look at the actual figures in this thing itself. Uh, so we got the packaging right here. Um, it still has a price sticker on it. So originally, evidently, was $13.99. Again, it's a Toys R Us exclusive. So we take a look at the pack itself here. Uh, we've got the nice Toys R Us exclusive little logo thing right there. This is the Fun School Scrap Iron. He was part of Wave 1 Fun School Joes released in India in 1988 as well as in Egypt through Nilco branding and stayed in production in India until Fun School ceased production of GI Joes in 2010. I still remember picking him up back in 1989 or 1990 out of the plethora of figures that were on offer that time. Welcome to Half the Battle, and welcome to my penance, I guess. Hey, Steve! Hey, buddy! You'll pay for this! Pay for what? This! What are you gonna do? Oh, you'll find out! Convergence, assemble. Form BX257, reporting in. SEO tour review, reporting in. McDowan, reporting in. Yoshi Vero 2, calling in. Sanitarium Productions, reporting in. Okay, Timmer has gone mad. He has an infinity gauntlet, and he's been stealing half of everyone's toys. We need to stop him, people. Thank you to everyone who turned your logos and websites and icons and avatars to blue for Cobra Convergence. You made the event a success. You may now retire the blue until next year. <laughs>